Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I've, I've never done this. I, I In the year that I've been doing YouTube, I've never done this. But we're going to do, uh, for the very first time, I'm going to ask if you could help me out, if you're getting value from the videos that we're putting out, if you could help and uh, like, share, and subscribe. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is because we're coming up on our end date. So we had a deal when we started this that if we didn't have 5,000 subscribers by the end of the very first year that we're going to pull the plug. And I, we're getting close and to the end of the year, and we're getting close to the pulling the plug. So if you could <laughs> help us out, I would certainly appreciate it. I'm a man of my word. So come that date, we don't have 5,000. That's it for the podcast, and I really like to do this. So anyway, uh, we thought, let's give you another educational video. I like them because they're timeless, because they last, and because I don't have to dream up new content every single day. So uh, we have gone over step-by-step step exactly how to stake, how to buy on Coinbase, how to get it to Kepler, how to get it to Osmosis, how to swap it for anything, how to get it back to Kepler, and how to stake it. Uh, these videos are available. One's going to be right up there as the channel trailer from now on. So uh, you already know how to do this part. Now, one of the things that I really like about Osmosis is uh, the liquidity pools. Man, I'm a huge fan of yield farming. Uh, since I stopped day trading, I have to get my fix somewhere. So I tend to get my fix from 24-hour LPs. We have not really blown these up and the whole time. We've done it on the live stream a few times, but we've never really blown them up right here on uh, as an individual video. So we thought this would be the time. So this is going to be a very specific how-to liquidity pool. What they are, why we do it, and specifically for those who ask how to do it. So we're going to take you straight over here to the third frame and you guys can see it uh, as I see it. This is Osmosis, app.osmosis.zone. Now, you're also going to need your Kepler wallet right here. So you're going to need your Kepler wallet in order to interact with Osmosis. Uh, if you don't have Kepler wallet, download it, set it up. As a matter of fact, you're going to need all of these wallets with the exception of MetaMask. I don't see you needing that one anymore. Uh, as we start to stretch out into Solana, as we start to stretch out into ADA, you're going to need all these wallets. So you're going to need the crypto. You're going to need Phantom. You're going to need Terra. You're going to need all these. So uh, do yourself a favor. Sit down and put these wallets, uh, get them created, get them onto your, uh, onto your browser so that you're ready. And as we kick out videos, you don't have to stop and go back and figure out how to do this. You're already set. But this is a video about liquidity pools, yield farming, and why I do it and why I, uh, if I was a type of person to make recommendations, uh, this would probably be where they are. So if you go to app.osmosis.zone, you click on the little pools button, you're going to see all of the available liquidity pools that you can invest in. Now, there are lots of them. All right. There is one for every single taste out there. There's probably a liquidity pool out there for it. So uh, you can do this a couple ways. You can either dual asset it or you can single asset it. Now, that's completely up to you. I tend to dual asset, but uh, it's your money. It's your business. So let's take a random pool and we're going to go ahead and jump into it. So we're going to take pool number. Yeah, I don't want pool six. You know what? We'll do pool six because it's easy enough for the video. So this pool has got Adam is half of it and DVPN is the other half. Now, I happen to like Sentinel. I think it's an excellent product. I think it's an excellent uh, VPN. And I love the fact that it is an ecosystem that other people who want to build blockchain DV DVP VPNs can build them right there on Sentinel. But I digress. So... We're going to have to split up our Atom and DVPN. So why don't we go ahead and do that? So if we go back to assets, I already burned like half my Atom a little bit ago making another video, but we'll go ahead and do it again. So I got 43 bucks worth of Atom just sitting here, almost like I uh, wanted to do it for the video. So let's go to trade right there. Trade Atom. Now we're going to have to swap half of this for DVPN. And oh, look, there it is. So if we come here and we hit half, it breaks it up nicely, perfect for us, and then we're going to go ahead and swap it. Uh, the gas fees over here are extremely high, so we're going to pay $0 
and we're going to go ahead and approve the transfer. So while we wait, right now it's hitting the network and it's making the transfer. Interestingly, the way it's making the transfer is the liquidity pool that you're about to enter. So after we get that up, we're going to come back here to assets. We're going to go down to Sentinel. Sentinel is actually DVPN, but we're going to go down to Sentinel if I can find it. I'm sure I blew by it. You saw it and I didn't. Uh, there we go. So you see that we got 22 bucks in Sentinel sitting there and we have approximately $21 in Adam sitting there. So we're going to go back over here to pools. We're going to scroll down to the, which one was it? Uh, pool six. And again, that APR is, I, I don't love it. I, I'm not crazy about that APR, but, uh, cause you can do so much better. Uh, look pool one, you can do better, but we're making a video. So we'll go ahead and take, I'll fall on my sword for this. So First thing we're going to have to do is add and remove liquidity. So if we come over here, they made it really, really easy. They, they absolutely made it easy. But we're going to go ahead and max it out with what we have. So we're going 30% Adam, 70% DVPN because I had some extra DVPN in there, obviously. And we're going to go ahead and put that up, and we're going to add the liquidity. We're going to pay the insanely high gas fee of zero. And right now we are moving this money from where it is was to where it is and as you can see right now we have available lp tokens that showed up of 31 bucks so now we have added liquidity now there's nothing to say that you have to start earning if you have it there you have added this liquidity so your money you will be getting a portion of the swap fees now the swap fees right over here 0.3 percent so every time that there's a transaction based on the amount of volume you have in there you're going to get a piece of that regardless of what you do but we're not here for that. We're here to get APRs. So let's go ahead and click the little start earning button right here. And it's going to say, how much do you want to put up? Well, you know what? Let's do it for 14 days, even though I think that that is a little rough. I'll tell you what. I'm not doing 14 days. I'm going to do a single day LP on this. And we're going to tell it to put in the max. So this is the available LP tokens we have. We're going to max it out, and we're going to put it in there for a day and earn 38.75%. Now, I am a big fan of single 24-hour bonding LPs. The reason is because when the market is volatile, it gives me my tokens remain relatively liquid, meaning every 24 hours, these tokens are going to be in a liquid state again. Now, I can realize profits on them. I can get out of them if they're falling too far. I have options. If I want that big, uh, the big percentage, I have to lock them in for 14 days. So for the next 14 days, regardless of what happens, I can't do anything about it. I just have to either celebrate it or I have to eat it. Now, I'm, a again, a day trading kind of guy. So I'll take it at the 24 hours it is for the video. So we're going to go ahead and bond it. Now, we're going to pay the insanely high gas fee. The highest it'll cost us right now is a nickel, a nickel. So we're just going to use the average because I'm, I am deep down a very cheap person. And we're going to go ahead and bond this. Now, it will stay in a bonded state until you unbond it. So even though you're putting it in a day at a time and collecting 38.75% on it, it will not automatically unbond. You're going to have to do it for them. So as you saw with the transaction, now we are bonded in for a day at 38.75%, and they will stay there indefinitely until we unbond them. Now, when you're doing a 24-hour LP, I recommend that you bond and unbond at the same time. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So if we unbond it, we pay the crazy gas fee of zero, and we're going to be pulling this money out, meaning that we're starting the 24-hour clock now. We are unbonding it. Now, if you go over to VVS, if you go over to a lot of these other yield farms, you're not going to be getting the same percentage, but you have a lot more, uh, your money's a lot more fluid. So you can actually unbond, remove liquidity, and do all that instantly as opposed to waiting it out like I'm going to be end up doing right now. So let me go ahead and refresh this pool. I want to make sure that it's out. You can see that we have unbonded and that you can see that our countdown timer has started. So 24 hours from now, right now, this money is going to be liquid again. So in that time, if Adam goes up 10%, DVPN goes up 10%, I've made 10% over what I bonded as well as the 38% of uh, APR that I'll be getting on that. So at that time, I'm now up 10%. I can peel 10% of that pool off. I can just take it right off the top 
and I could rebond my original amount of what was it, thirty-one bucks. I could rebond that original amount back in there at thirty-one dollars, but I've made ten percent on it, which I will take immediately. Come over here. One of my favorite tokens that is on this network is called UST. If uh, right there, and I can swap from there right to UST, and I can lock in that value because UST is a dollar. Let's get even more crazy because I don't like money sitting idle ever, ever. So let's pretend that we had some money over there in US Terra. I'll tell you what, we're going to make another quick swap. So we're going to trade uh, Adam. I got, we'll, we'll trade $10 worth or whatever I got in there. And I'm looking for UST. We're going to trade, uh, we'll just do a cheap one. So we're going to do half, which is $6.22. And we're going to swap it for US Terra. I'm using this to show you what I do with my money when I money is doing nothing. When the market's volatile, I don't know what's going on. Let's do that. But I refuse to let money just sit there and age and do nothing. So as we come back here to our assets, you see that we have $6.12 now in Terra. So let's go back to the pools and let's find a UST. Now, I already, uh, I'm playing with one over here because I did another video, but let's go ahead and find another one that is, uh, that another pair that has US Terra in it. I'm a big, big, big fan of stable coins when it comes to something like this because uh, the, the value is going to be fixed. It ain't going anywhere. I think I'm in 560 already. You know what? We'll, uh, I don't want this to drag on, so let's but I want it to show up someday. Okay, so we're going to go to this with a whopping APR of 10%. Now, this is ridiculous, and I don't recommend that you would put your money in here when you can do so much better on effectively everything, but we are making it. We'll do Luna. There you go. So Luna and UST. Now, what we're going to be doing on this one is uh, we are going to single asset liquidity pool this. Now, you get this disclaimer, single asset LP allows you to provide liquidity using one asset. However, this will impact the pool price of the asset you're providing liquidity with, and it absolutely will. So what we're going to do is we are going to single asset this one, but we're going to single asset it with UST. So whatever you're seeing on that percentage, cut it in half because you're only providing liquidity for half of it. So we're going to max, I'll tell you what, we'll do $6 even. And get rid of that. And we're going to add liquidity to this single pool. We're going to pay the gas fee of zero. And right now we're putting, we're going ahead. We are putting liquidity into it. So you can see there's my liquidity. Then we're going to go ahead and start earning on this one, 28%. Cut that in half. You're only putting in one. Uh, you're only putting in one. We're going to go ahead and max that out. We're going to bond it. We're going to pay the gas fee of zero. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. And we are now bonded. So at the same time, you can leave this in or you can do what we just did and unbond it. I recommend that you unbond it and you go on a rolling 24. So we're going to unbond it, average, approve. And as soon as it, the transaction is successful, we'll refresh. You'll see that my 24-hour clock has started just like that. This money will unbond in one day. Now, you are collecting an APR on this, but you are also getting a portion of the swap fees on this. So if for some reason Luna started to pop off because the pool has to be balanced, that's the whole idea behind this, your Terra is going to be appear to be worth a little bit more. So we bonded six bucks, but we might pull $6.30 out of this. It's just a matter of scale. Guys, I'm doing this in very small numbers just to show you how to do it. But after this, it's just about scale. So if we go back over here to pools, you can see that I am now vested at $5.99 in pool number 562. This is as difficult as it gets. So I, I, again, man, I understand it might be, you know, it's getting off the central exchanges, it's rough, who knows what's gonna happen, but I just showed you how to do it and how to do the liquidity pools. So for all of the, uh, the mythological speak that you keep hearing, around uh, yield farming this is yield farming all right all of the uh, the deep uh, economics around liquidity pools these are liquidity pools all right this is step by step how to do it i'm a big big advocate for you to be smart with your money for you to protect your money but particularly for you to put your money to work for you 2%, 3%, 4% staking rewards are absolutely ridiculous. They don't even keep up, keep up with inflation. You are literally losing money staking. 
be on these tiny little percentages because you're not even keeping up with inflation. Inflation is almost 7%. If you're staking at 4, come the end of the year, you're down 3%. Period. Period. The math doesn't lie. So uh, if, if I see an opportunity to get into a pool at 100 plus percent or to stake coins at 100 plus percent, I am absolutely going to take it because this insulates you. Crypto is volatile. You, you're you here. If you've been in more than three months, you know damn good and well that crypto is extremely volatile. You have got to start protecting your money. Now, crypto also has a very short memory. So even though we've just hemorrhage $700 billion from the crypto market. As soon as it starts going up a little bit, people will forget that we just hemorrhaged $700 billion from the entire entirety of crypto because we have short memories. So I hope, if nothing else, that the last month or so has been a real good shot across the bow that it's time to maybe start doing things a little bit smarter. This is one of the ways to do things a little bit smarter. I hope you got some takeaways from it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or observations, scott at thepodcast.com or bella at thepodcast.com, and we are happy to answer them. If you are still not comfortable, don't quite understand what this is, you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one Zoom, send something to Bella. I bet you that she might be able to accommodate you a little bit. So uh, with that, guys, until next time, please be safe, please be smart with your money, and be good.